taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys today i wanted to make a different video to what i usually make considering everything that's going on in the market we've seen a huge crash from ftx to ftt token with um you know the the whole binance uh cz sam bankman sam bankman freed drama going on right which of course has been it's had an impact on the market uh we've seen all sorts of you know talk about uh, you know a 10k bitcoin and all that sort of stuff right but i just wanted to make a video about my uh strategy during this bear market right now uh specifically uh with uh blue chip groups or such as ethereum right because if you have to choose out of the two i'm a degen right so um me holding bitcoin is just very rare all right guys the only times i really hold bitcoin is when i'm leverage trading it using it to leverage trade on bybit for example which i don't recommend that you do um, but um, yeah, I think my strategy is going to be to get into what I believe to be the safest cryptocurrency outside of Bitcoin. Considering what we see, if, we, if you look at FTX, for example, that was the fourth biggest exchange in crypto, right? You have Coinbase, you have um, uh, Binance, you have FTX, you have, um, uh, it slips my mind, but yeah, basically... Um, nobody would have expected something like the FTT token to tank the way it did, right? Um, I think Binance is a pretty based coin um, in terms of holding, all right, guys? But just play it safe, right? During this bear market, uh, what I want to do is I want to have a huge blue chip holding, all right? And um, I am buying into some of these smaller blue chips as well. When I say smaller, I mean, you know, when I look at a blue chip, I think a billion dollars plus, right? So there's other blue chips uh, that I am averaging into and holding a position while we uh, were to take advantage of these low prices. But Ethereum specifically, I want to take a look at that and give you my strategy behind this, right? So with Ethereum, like I said, I believe it's the safest outside of Bitcoin. And then Ethereum is like, you know, it's like the internet of crypto, right? You, you got Bitcoin. Bitcoin really has no utility apart from trading and so on, right? And um, it's a store of value. But Ethereum, people are building projects on top of it. Um, it's got huge scalability. We've just not long ago had the Ethereum merge and everybody would have expected the price of Ethereum to go up after the merge, right? These things don't really play out like that. It takes a while to play out. So it's not, I, I didn't expect it to happen straight away. Uh, but, but what I do believe is that over time when we begin to see a potential market bottom right after all of this drama blows over because everyone's been waiting for this black swan event everyone's been waiting for it and ever uh, dumped to the downside right i believe that ethereum is going to be a huge gainer with the ethereum merge and with everything that's going on behind the scenes i think that this is going to play out in the long term if you think about the bitcoin halving a lot of times you get a run up before the halving and then you get a dump and then after a short while maybe six months to a year you get a pump out of bitcoin i believe it's going to be the same kind of scenario with ethereum we've been in a bear market for about a year almost and um i think you know it's going to be a few months it could still be a few months of downside potentially right but um the saying goes it's not about timing the market it's about time in the market so i want to be averaging into ethereum from now and um, we're going to talk about how I've already got a position in ethereum and then we're going to talk about my strategy going forward now. So basically, if you look at the chart, right, you see we had the FTX dump. And right now we are getting a retest. So it does look like there's going to be more downside if we um, show you the bigger picture of this, right? Um, we had a fake out over here of this triangle, this descending triangle. Okay, guys, and we would have expected more upside. People would have been loading up positions. And then we have the FTX news and it dropped straight through the triangle. Okay, takes out these lows at about, you know, where we're sitting at about right now. Okay, about $1,250, $60, right? Uh, came all the way down to about $1,000 or $1,072 approximately. And we've had a bounce um, and a retest of the previous resistance, okay? So it does look like going into the weekend, we could potentially see some more downside, right? Especially if this candle closes outside of this area, which is looking like it's going to within the next we're looking at another you know eight hours or so right um if this daily candle closes 
under here, we're probably going to see some more downside, especially over the weekend. And if we break that $1,000 level, of course, more downside. Everyone's got their targets. Everyone's anticipating it. Uh, but what you don't want to do is, um, you know, I, I personally won't put in a short position or anything like this until you got that daily close, right? But going into the weekend, it does look like it's going to happen. I'm not short in anything. I'm looking to buy rather than short. But um, yeah, that is basically that. Uh, we can see this RSI coming down and so on. Everything is looking a bit bearish with the whole market sentiment as a whole, right? However, um, what I believe is that uh, everybody believes that the market is going to go down and it might not go down as as low as a lot of people may think it will go and i like to have a contrarian view so the fact that you're getting ethereum at this price of one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars at the moment and potentially lower i think it's a good time to start averaging into ethereum right so i want to have at least a hundred thousand dollar position in ethereum uh just sitting not doing anything waiting to go into the next bull market okay and it's not about going in with that type of money all in one go it's about accumulating it dollar cost averaging it in right so me potentially what i'm looking at is potentially averaging in something like one ethereum a day okay and if we see bigger dumps then i can average in a little bit more aggressively as the price dumps potentially okay if the price starts to go up of course then i'll begin to rethink my strategy on averaging in uh, but ultimately uh, we're looking at potentially something like one ethereum a day into ethereum for the next 30 to 40 days potentially going into december so by the time we get to january i've accumulated my position okay guys and um, i'll make sense of it for you in a little while but if you look at my if we change the chart to the original binance chart i have another chart drawn out here and this is a pattern that probably not many people are looking at right so we're going to go on to the weekly because we're looking at the bigger picture here okay guys so you can see this falling wedge pattern and it looks pretty bullish from where I'm standing, okay? It never got a breakout over here, actually got a rejection, but it's not uncommon to see a rejection and then a little bit of recovery and then a breakout, okay? So if that was the breakout, then that would be, for me, super bullish on the weekly chart, okay? Considering if you look at the volume, right? The volume is, yes, it's brought it down, right? But it's not completely destroying it when you look at the weekly volume okay guys so the buying pressure with not much volume is pushing it up quite nicely as well but of course it has been a bit of a black swan event nobody expected the dump and so on for all we know we could have actually got the breakout if it wasn't for the ftx news right so if this manages to recover and you see ethereum start to shoot back up right and close a pretty decent wick on the weekly right and then even going into next week over the next couple of days we get a green candle popping out through this level if we get a weekly close by the end of next week outside of this level i'm going to assume that that is a pretty bullish um sign for ethereum breaking out of this falling wedge pattern and we could see um higher prices in the immediate to short term when i say immediate to short term we're talking over the next month or two okay and um you know of course if we break the two thousand dollar level mark right it's gonna we, we're gonna be looking at a target up here and then we want to see higher lows um uh, uh higher lows okay and higher highs and obviously that will be bullish but like i said this is a weekly chart i don't expect this stuff to play out overnight we've got time to dollar cost average in if the prices come all the way down of course it's going to be dependent on what bitcoin does as well of course we need to keep a close eye on bitcoin but uh when everybody is bearish i like to be bullish because i just like to have a contrarian view all right guys um you know the the herd is always going to be a victim to uh, the big players in the game right that's just the way this thing uh, this thing goes right the key in this is uh yeah to kind of think outside the box and um you know what's the worst case scenario worst case scenario is that ethereum does drop further we don't get a breakout here it drops further okay we take out this level at a thousand dollars we head down towards approximately you know what five hundred dollars maybe around the seven hundred dollar mark okay between seven hundred and five hundred dollars and of course that would be um probably you know a, a beautiful time to start accumulating ethereum so that's why we want to be dollar cost averaging in because you know what it could drop a little bit more than 50 percent even from here 
and you know we'll be able to pick up a lot more Ethereum than what we anticipated for the price that I'm looking at today for the amount I'm looking to, to accumulate from today all right guys so i'm not saying that this is going to get a breakout or anything like that i'm just trying to look at it in a different way to everybody else and then looking at the potential for it okay guys but like i said it's highly likely at the moment that we're going to see some downside at least over this weekend we could see a bullish bounce going into next week if we see a bullish engulfing candle on the weekly of course and you get a close out of that going into the following week that for me is going to be super bullish in my opinion Okay, guys, so like I said, I'm looking to accumulate around about one Ethereum a day and going into the next couple of weeks, okay? And um, yeah, so I'm also accumulating Ethereum over here in EMP money in the detonator, which has come down since the previous video. This did pump as well back up to around 14,000 um, uh, in deposits. By the way, this is uh, my Ethereum EMP farm okay guys and what i'm looking at is you know if, like i said if i do one ethereum uh over like the next 30 you know 30 plus days that will bring me to around 40 30 to forty thousand dollars worth in ethereum and i believe that um you know my max payout here and what i do is uh, because this is paired with emp the emp token the max payout would be about forty three thousand okay at the moment if this returns back which i believe that emp will go back to peg which will increase that okay uh, back to where it was um over time but of course ethereum will be dropping as well so obviously there's going to be some Im impermanent loss and so on but as the prices begin to correct themselves right over time longer you hold it i believe that i'll get about 40 to sixty thousand dollars out of here which will bring me up to my hundred thousand uh, dollar ethereum position okay guys and um yeah uh, so we're talking about accumulating quickly over here as the prices are dropping taking advantage of some stable coins pumping them into ethereum just to hold that don't touch it leave it don't do nothing with it don't risk it in a staking contract if you see like what we see with block for example you can send your funds over to exchanges like that and um, you know they can just halt withdrawals they can go bankrupt and things like that um i want to just hold my ethereum to myself oh uh, excuse me okay just wait for me two seconds right uh, I want to just hold my Ethereum, not do anything with it, not risk it anywhere considering the circumstances. And um, yeah, just basically just hold it for the bull run. Because I believe that Ethereum could potentially surpass 10000 even maybe even $20,000 in a bull run. Like I said, with the Ethereum merge, it being the internet of crypto, for example. And, you know, just the bullish sentiment that we can see on this potentially going forward. Um, yeah with gas fees and all that sort of stuff it's got it's got huge utility um, i don't expect any sort of fud or crash or anything like that any sort of ftx ftt token type of fud on the ethereum token personally um you could that the risk is there with any one of the other cryptocurrencies the risk is even there with bnb it's there with uh matic for example right which is you know another one that i'm bullish on right and i'm holding a portfolio uh the potential is there with you know uh uh solana like that's dumping as well like all all of these other cryptocurrencies it's nice to hold them very small position in in, in comparison to bitcoin ethereum holders and things like that but of course they are super risky i'm not saying there's no risk with ethereum but that's just going to be my strategy going forward and um, yes i'm going to continue to do DeFi. yes i'm going to continue to do dgen yes i'm going to average also into the lower caps and the other coins just like i've mentioned but yeah i'm learning from my mistakes in the past i've taken so much risk even you know there's tokens that i've bought contracts that i bought into to try and make more ethereum when i actually would have made a lot more money just holding the ethereum all right guys i'm learning from those mistakes i want to have a decent position in ethereum this time around if ethereum does a 10x 20x for example we you know we're sitting pre and um, the rest of the portfolio should also follow suit as well so that is my strategy going forward for ethereum let me know what you think in the comments guys and uh, that's about it subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already tick the little bell for notifications leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this strategy guys and i'll see you in the very next video